Hi, this is Justice here with Lancaster Archery Supply. Here to show you the Bomar draw stops for the Hoyt RKT, the Fuel, the Turbo, and the Z5 cams. If you look at the draw stop that's on the on a bow right now, this is the Hoyt Z5 cam. It's got the rubber string stop, and it works really well for you know somebody just the average bow hunter. But if you're looking to maximize uh, the bow's performance, uh, something that you can do is add a Bomar draw stop. Uh, if you look here. The Bomar draw stop has a flat edge on it. Um, that's going to actually run right up against the edge of the cable. So it's going to, when you draw back, it's actually going to sit up against the cable like this, and it's going to give you a rock solid back wall. And what that does is it eliminates the sponginess feel when you're at full draw. And when you eliminate that spongy feel, it's a little bit more consistent and helps you uh, have a little bit better accuracy. Um, so to install this, what you're going to do is you're just going to mark where you have this. We have it in the C position right now, and that's where we're going to keep that. Um, but we're just going to take the factory draw stop out. We can set that to the side because we're not going to need that anymore. We're going to take the new draw stop. And you can see there's a little indent on the inside of this draw stop here. We're just going to put the screw right inside, just like that. And it's going to sit right inside this cam. Put it back in the C position. We don't want to completely tighten this up because we do need to adjust it so that it's actually sitting flush up against this cable. Um, and the way that we do that is, if you look, you can see inside here the edge of the module goes down to the axle and then it comes to the edge of this cam, or, or to the edge of the draw stop. One thing that you can do, or actually the way to do this, is to take a straight edge. Uh, I like using a bow square and you're going to run it right up against, go inside this cam, right up along the edge of the axle, and it's going to flatten that draw stop out, and that's how you're going to tighten this up, just like this. So when we tighten that up, that's going to give you that rock solid back wall. So when you get back, now you're at full, when you're at full draw, you don't have that sponginess feel, and it's going to give you a lot more consistency. For more product videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you have any more questions, please call one of our LAS tech experts or visit us at LancasterArchery.com.